Jeremy and Heather, I'm glad that I got to meet up with you guys uh, and do a little riding with you and show you something that we're pretty excited about that we've been working on and give you the first sneak peek. We have the evolution of the Stash Trail Hardtail that goes to 2.9 plus, which is a 29 by 3 inch tire. In order to get the whole package to work, we've gone to double boost, which is the 148 boost rear end, which is the wider bracing angle on the hub. So we've also done that in the front and we've gone to 110 boost in the front. So that widens those spoke flanges out 10 millimeters and gives you a stronger, stiffer wheel and also gives you the clearance for that big tire. So the 29 Plus um, kind of reminds me of a fat bike. Is it kind of like a fat bike or? Well, what we wanted to do with this bike is give it the maximum versatility. Um, obviously a three inch tire isn't as wide as a four inch tire or a five inch tire, but it's a much bigger diameter, which gives you some of those additional flotation characteristics. So Travis, when I first saw the bikes, I noticed the tube shaping on like that elevated stay. And so tell us a little bit about the, you know, the frame set itself. There's a lot of unique shapes to the frame and that's accomplished by hydroforming some of the tubes and then that section that you're looking at is actually a forging that gives us the maximum clearance and maximum stiffness in that area but this is a Trex Alpha aluminum it's light and strong and we still can do a lot of unique tube shapes that traditionally you only expect to see in carbon fiber right. frames. The mid E stay on this bike gives us clearance uh, for not only the chain ring and the tire but now that we don't have to snake that chain stay in around the tire and back into the frame, it's also allowed us to go to an extremely short chain stay for a bike with a tire that size. The bottom bracket design here is a PF92, so 92 millimeter spacing, press fit bearings in there. That wide section there, almost the entire down tube crosses that where they intersect. And so that takes up any stiffness that you might lose or strength that you might lose in that elevated stay and also gives us clearance for the huge tire. What sort of conditions does this bike seem to excel at, even with all those different wheel, you know, I mean, tire possibilities? For me, I start looking at the trail a lot differently. You know, I'll look at a climb that I would just get off before I tried going up it and I'll be wanting to try to clean it now. Um, the extra traction for something like that is pretty obvious, you know, right off the bat. Sometimes there's a line coming down that's really off camber, but you can tell it's faster. You know, like, I don't know if my tires are gonna hold on it. Well, there's a, there's a difference there where on a small tire, say a 2.2, you can't make it across. On this tire, at that much less pressure, you go straight across there and you don't slip. 